Things are looking up for Marvel's Silver Sable these days. Not only is this sometimes ally, sometimes foe of Spider-Man, rumored to be one of the focal points of Sony's new movie universe of Marvel characters, but she also plays a major role in Insomniac Spider-Man game for the PlayStation 4. Not bad for the leader of one of the most downtrodden countries in the Marvel Universe. Here's everything you need to know about this ruthless mercenary. Silver Sable is the code name for Silver Sablanova. She is one of the most feared and sought after mercenaries in the Marvel Universe. It helps that she has an entire team called the Wild Pack to support her on her missions. However, Sable isn't in the Merc game for personal riches or thrills. She's the ruler of a tiny European nation called Simcaria. You know, it borders her ally Dr. Doom's Kingdom of Latveria. Completing deadly lucrative mercenary missions is the only way Silver can bring much needed wealth and resources back to her homeland. That's why she and Spider-Man have such a seesaw relationship. They frequently fought alongside one another, but Silver Sable will always put the needs of her people above her friendship with Spider-Man. Silver Sable has no superhuman powers, but she does have extensive combat and martial arts training and innate gymnastic abilities. She also has lots of weapons and gear, stuff like a flexible body armor suit, various guns and projectiles, and more, funded by her corporation, Silver Sable International. Silver Sable debuted in 1985's The Amazing Spider-Man number 265. In her first appearance, Silver butted heads with Spider-Man after being hired to bring down Black Fox's criminal enterprise. Feeling sympathy for the villain, who was trying to carry out one last score before retiring, Spider-Man let Black Fox escape but confiscated his ill-gotten jewels and turned them over to Silver. That basically set the tone for their relationship going forward. She got her own series in the 90s after appearing in books like The Amazing Spider-Man and Daredevil, and in 2006, Marvel paired her with fellow mercenary Dominic Fortune. Silver appeared to have drowned in 2012 after fighting Dr. Octopus and the Sinister Six with Spider-Man, but resurfaced in a 2017 storyline called The Osborne Identity. She revealed that she had been pretending to be dead, maintaining cover while eliminating some Kari his enemies. But after Norman Osborn plotted a coup of her undefended country, she had to come back. These days, she's back in the spotlight and ready to protect her people against any and all threats. Silver Sable's most significant video game role to date is an Insomniac Spider-Man game, where she and her team are a recurring threat. She's also shown up in several Spider-Man animated shows over the years, including 2017 Spider-Man and 2008 Spectacular Spider-Man. While Silver Sable has yet to appear in a movie that may change as the new Sony universe of Marvel characters begins to take shape. Sony had been developing a film called Silver and Black, which would have paired her with fellow Spider-Man mainstay Black Hat, but Sony decided to rework Silver and Black into a solo Black Hat movie. A separate Silver Sable film is reportedly being developed as well. So do you want to see a Silver Sable movie? Tell us in the comments section. And for more Marvel, check out our videos on Riot, the villain in the new Venom movie, and our explainer on the next Spider-Man movie villain, Mysterio. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.